Hey guys, I'm the Lock Picking Patrolman, and tonight I wanted to share a really quick video um, just meant to help some of the newer pickers out there who might be struggling with tensioning. Um, earlier today, I saw on the Lock Picking subreddit a uh, post made by a new picker who had a master lock and had got it picked open twice, but then uh, the tensioner that he was using started slipping. And my suggestion was to use two tensioners at the same time. Um, let me demonstrate what I'm talking about. He had a, a master lock. This is a master lock number six, and I chose it because it's the, uh, the best example of a master lock that's easy to mount up. And looks good on camera, easy to view. But this picker took his tensioner and was using it like that. However, it kept slipping to where it was turned almost under the edge of that warding there. In other words, it was kind of like, and I'm using a slightly narrower tensioner, sort of was doing that number almost. Not not quite all the way down like that, but kind of slipping under that warding to where he couldn't get very good tension on there. And, you know, us that have been picking for a long time, it's easy for us to say, you know, oh, we'll get you a top of the keyway and go here, and then that way you won't have to worry about it. Well, that's true, but you know, guys, I was picking for quite a while without any uh, top tensioners, actually. So, you know, not everybody has them right away. Uh, another suggested maybe just squeezing this tensioner in down as far to the bottom and then coming around like that. And, yes, I do have this in the vise, but just so I can better illustrate. Um, but if you're picking in hand with your tensioner already all the way down there, you're going to have to wrap your whole hand around the lock to get any good purchase. So what my technique is, um, is something actually Lock Noob showed in one of his videos a long time ago. So Lock Noob, if you're watching, I'm uh, redistributing, if you will, your original tensioning technique. Uh, when you have a keyway that's, that's too narrow and you don't have a tensioner that's wide enough, like this one here fits perfect. And this is just one of those uh, cheap tensioners from one of those Chinese tension pits. Um, that's about $7, I think, on Banggood. Um, anyway, if you don't have one of those, and all you have are one of these smaller wrenches. Uh, this is one that came with the PXS-14. Actually, as is this narrower one. You can do this. Take the narrower, smaller tensioner. If you don't have one of these, you can take a piece of narrow wiper insert like that and use it as well. Then take your wider tensioner, slip it in this keyway, and go from the side. So now you can see that the wider tensioner is leveraging off of this narrower, uh, thinner tensioner that's in the bottom. So we can do that, apply tension, take our $1.50 Chinese pick, go in, and go click, well maybe go in and go click. You do still have enough room to work, um, there we go, and you can see that the lock is turned, it is open. Shackle was cut a long time ago before I got this lock, but you can see we got the core turned. So. That's all that's needed. If you have a keyway that's a little too wide to get one of your wiper insert tensioners in there, just take a narrower one, put it in the bottom, and then put your wider one on the side. So guys, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. And as always, have fun picking and stay legal.